So, after that crazy, like, ludicrous day yesterday, four people are dead. And I think three, or no, 23 others are injured. 23, 30, something like that are injured. Um, president has had his account suspended. Um, in like not indefinitely for the time being but it's it's they're not really clear twitter facebook and instagram well facebook owns instagram i forgot about that um they've all uh shut his accounts down for the time being they've locked him out um and some people in the immediate like 30 to an, 30 minutes to an hour after they started clearing them out of the capital all of a sudden this is not on them. Uh, we we didn't really do this. After you see them all up on top of the the um the risers where the the our inauguration is gonna take place, you see them all up there. God, don't tread on me. They broke through the side windows, went into the buildings, all up in people's offices. They got Trump flags wrapped around them, Trump signs, Trump this, Trump that. His brand is definitely everywhere now. <laughs> He's a success at that brand. That brand is everywhere. But you got people just rally, just running around. They were on the House and Senate floor while the our representatives are in there. These people made it through the building with the U.S. government officials in there. The representatives, the vice president was in the building and these people made it in. Remember when the protesters, the Black Lives Matter protesters were outside the White House perimeter? And they were, they were shooting tear gas, rubber bullets, everything. They were defending that line. But these people literally made it in. Had, there was a video of the Capitol Hill officer running up the stairs because he, he, he couldn't keep them through the door. He's backing up, running up the stairs. He pulled his baton and he was backing up. And they're just like mob, like about to mob this dude. The same people having Blue Lives Matter flags. Now they're mobbing the police. It, it's all really just makes no sense but this has been building up for years and trump has capitalized on this and grifted it and pushed these people to the edge this gaslighting this was the end result and now in the immediate aftermath now all of a sudden they didn't do it it was antifa that right there sent me over the edge i was like are you kidding me y'all can't even own this you can't even own this that's that it was it's literally like yo that's just completely just that's stupid you can't even own this you invade the capital and oh we didn't do it it was it was antifa dressed like uh dressed like trump supporters it was wasn't really us get out of here <laughs> just just don't ever leave the united states we don't need you <laughs> okay because that that right there that is complete just utter, you're mentally gone you have left earth you're not here anymore okay to say to, you you and your people were literally in the building and now all of a sudden we didn't do that that was answer they infiltrated us like oh my goodness oh my goodness uh, uh, oh my goodness i guess I'm, i guess i can say trump loves Antifa then because uh he said we he lo you guys are loved we love you guys we know you're angry i guess he loves answer then can i say that no because that would be disingenuous <laughs> no i'm not gonna say that but anyway, this was the first dude right here in this picture. Um, his name is Q Shaman. That's what he goes by online. And these two dudes beside him, they were saying, that, look look at the, we can't really see it. There, he has a, a, a tattoo on his hand. They were like, oh, oh my goodness, that's uh, the hammer and sickle. The communists are here. The communists are coming. The com Sh just stop. Stop talking about communism. You, you don't know what communism is. Half the people that say communism don't even know what it is. Anyway, this dude. It, th I'm going to read the PolitiFact article on him. Um, let me go back. So they were saying that he's Antifa. They were sharing pictures of him. They said, oh, look, he's at the BLM rally. And in the picture, they literally cut out the sign he was holding. The sign said, Q sent me. But they cut that out and they were like, look, he was at a BLM rally, guys. Look, 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 he was at a BLM rally. It was Antifa. Like, that just annoyed me to my core. So let's read a little bit about this. Um, uh, where does it begin? Let's see. Okay. 
Hours after supporters of President Donald Trump stormed the U.S. Capitol, several of his allies in Congress and in the media baselessly claimed anti-fascist provocateurs were to blame for the violence. Uh, some suggested without evidence that the crowd backing the efforts to overturn the election, President Trump's effort to overturn the election was infiltrated by Antifa. Anti -st Antifa stands for anti-fascist, and it's not a group, but a broad coalition of activists. Yeah, Antifa is not a centralized group, and I know there's a whole debate about this, and Antifa having a leadership and all this other sort of stuff, but it's not like... Antifa is not like the Proud Boys. They don't like, I don't, I don't think most of them like gather on the weekends or whatnot, you know. So uh, they don't really have a centralized com leadership command structure. There's no one central leader that everybody answers to. And it's same thing with Black Lives Matter. There's Black Lives Matter, the organization, and then the organizers, the people on the ground. Like they're two different things. The organization is not like they don't sit here and plot and plan every single, you know, or like protest or what happens. No, the organizers and activists do that. Those are activists on the ground. The, or the organization mainly does like fundraising or whatnot. Um, others focused on specific protesters who forced their way inside the Capitol and were shown in the photographs, such as a bare chested man who wore um, face paint and a horn fur cap. These are not Trump supporters, said one January 6th Facebook post. Antifa thugs. Antifa thugs. They've invaded us. No, just, just stop. The post was flagged as a part of Facebook's efforts to uh, combat false news and misinformation on its news feed. Um, but the mysterious man in the horns is not Antifa aligned. The man is Jake Angeli. Um, supporters... Uh, um, Oh, supports Trump and his well-known Q, um, Q, QAnon supporter and the the baseless Q's conspiracy theory. I just read that very weirdly. He goes uh, by the moniker Q Shaman, and he told and he told the Arizona Republic he uses his unique outfit to stand out. Um, Pointer reported that in December, Angeli launched an online crowdfunding campaign to fund his participation in pro-Trump events. The Arizona Republic described him as a QAnon supporter who has been a fixture at the Arizona right-wing political rallies over the last year. Um, the Associated Press reported that he has also been seen in the same signature headwear at the pro-Trump rally in November 7th, on November 7th in Phoenix, Arizona. So here you go right here. There you go. This is the sign that other people found, finally found the picture. They were like sharing it around. Like here is, this is him actually. And now he see, he says the, the, um, the sign says, hold the line Patriots, Patriots, God wins. So yes, this dude is a, he's a full on Trump QAnon supporter, right? He's not Antifa. I had to type in not Antifa. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this is ludicrous to try to cast off responsibility from yourselves because now how badly this has backfired. Four people are dead. After y'all done ransacked people's offices, you had the dude in Nancy Pelosi's office with his feet kicked up. And look, I, look, I, I don't like Nancy Pelosi that much as, as much as the next person. All right. She's uh, an elitist um, corporate politician. But this has done absolutely nothing. The only thing this has really showed is that these people are not untouchable. <laughs> that you can get you can get at least a little bit close to them. But I'm not I'm not advocating for violence. I promise. FBI, please don't put me on no watch list. I'm just saying. It shows how close people uh, and the lack of fear of people that ha that people have of the US government. They don't fear the US government like that. In a way they do, but like with this they literally were up in the building with the folks, running up in their offices. And I'm sure some of those people have been waiting years to do this. They've been waiting years. They're probably looking for somebody to get their hands on. Okay, because I've seen it online. I've seen the rhetoric online. I know some of those same people were there yesterday. And they were probably searching for somebody. Search of somebody. I need. Let's take somebody. You know, remember the kidnapping plot of the uh, Michigan, the uh, Governor Whitmer. I know there was somebody. At least one or two people had to have some type of kidnapping plot in their mind because they found pipe bombs, pipe bombs and Molotovs. But when they said Molotovs, I was like, oh goodness, here comes more Ant Antifa. Did that? Antifa has Molotovs because they like the Soviet Union. They like Russia. Like just, I was waiting on it and I saw it yesterday. They said it has Antifa written all over it, guys. No. 
nah nah man this this was this was y'all <laughs> take ownership of it man if you're gonna invade the capital invade it for something good you had people protesting for medicare for all um the day before and i think yesterday as well they had like 50 60 officers on them the force to vote protesters people out there with their kids but these dudes ran up in the building ran up in the, one of the most secure buildings in the united states and it was the most surreal thing to see them just wandering around on the house and senate floor or on the senate i think they were in the senate only but um on the, in the chambers like that was just the weirdest oddest thing and it was just i'm still trying to like it doesn't even feel real it doesn't even feel real <sighs> so um yeah that was crazy so that's all I got for this. And what do you guys think about this? Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, like, comment, comment, subscribe, like, when I do it, have to do it, where do it, just do it. It's your boy Red X Black. Rest in peace to the, the four people that died yesterday. And um, hopefully the 23 other people can have a speedy recovery. I'm out. See y'all later.